Hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen. Um, today we're going to do some barbecue and some summer food. Um, it was beautiful all week and now today it's absolutely blowing a gale so I'm not going to barbecue outside but it's a good way that you can show you how to make the summer food and we can cook it in the grill and the oven. So let's start with a few of the basics. First of all um, I've got some bamboo skewers uh, that I'm going to use to put on some of the vegetables. Um, I do let you soak them in water first before you use them so they then don't burn either under the grill or on the barbecue. So um, just get them soaking ready. So the first thing we're going to make is a burger. Um, so this is what I'm calling a tin burger. Um, Go with me on this, it will all make sense in the end. Um, so first of all, you need to roast some vegetables. I've got some aubergine, some butternut squash, and some sweet potato. So I've roasted them in a little bit of oil, no seasoning in the oven, um, and then I've allowed them to go completely cold. The reason we want it to go cold is we want all the moisture to evaporate off, because the more water that's in a burger, the kind of soggy it stays together, or if it's too dry, it then can break up. So um, that's the roast vegetables, and all I'm going to do is literally just puree them. I'm going to use a stick blender, and um, you can mash these with a potato mixer. So there we go, dead easy and simple. And um, all we're looking for is um, a mash. You can throw some texture in there as well. But then to this mixture, what I'm going to add is I've got 20 grams of our um, Lococo herb crackers. Obviously, we're not going to get these, they can be broken off. This packet is perfect, so I like to smash them off. Uh, <clears throat> but you can just save the cracker crumbs um, and you can put them in a freezer. So I'm going to add this to the mixture. This is going to help, again, absorb some of that moisture that's in there. So let's give that a stir. I'm also going to add a tablespoon of psyllium husk. This helps bind the mixture together and brings everything in together, which is nice. I've then got some grated raw mushrooms, so they're going to go in as well. Let's give that a little stir. So then to kind of season this, I'm going to add um, some garlic. I'm using some garlic puree, so I'm going to add two teaspoons of that to it. Um, I'm going to add a good grinding of um, fresh black pepper to this. Now I'm not going to use any salt in this recipe, um, but what I am going to do is I've got some low protein Parmesan cheese, so I'm going to use that because again that helps with bind um, the burger together and it adds some of that seasoning in there. Um, I've got some dried basil, so I'm going to add a teaspoon of that. I've got some smoked paprika, so I'm going to add a teaspoon of that in there. And I've also got some mixed herbs, so I'm going to add a teaspoon of that in. So to that mixture, I've then got uh, two tablespoons of mayonnaise. So let's add all that in and then give it a good stir. And this mixture you can use um, as a filling for sausage rolls. You can also make this into uh, meatballs. You can also uh, make this into a sausage shape and they grill really well. The best thing to do with this because of the facilium husk in there is just allow this just to kind of sit and absorb. You can make this mixture and you can also pop it in the freezer at this stage and then you can bring it out whenever you need it. But I'm going to just do one straight away just so you can see it. So what I've got is um, old tins. So these are food tins that I've just kept. I've put through the dishwasher and um, this I've brought chestnuts in. It just makes an ideal burger. So you can bake this in the oven and then turn it out. So let's add some of our mixture to this. Again, press it down so it's got no air bubbles in it. 
So we then kind of get a quarter pounder veg burger. Again, at that stage, you can freeze them in that and then just pop them in the oven whenever you need it. Um, they don't kind of stick to the tent, so again, you can just take them out when they're baked. But um, I was going to barbecue these today, but we're going to put them in the oven so you can see these uh, later on. Let's get rid of that one. So I've got some um, accompaniments just to go with um, all of these. So the first one I've got is um, some stuffed peppers. So I've got some Mediterranean low protein cheese. And I've got some of the baby peppers. I've just took the top out and just took the seeds out. So we're going to kind of fill um, the peppers with the cheese mixture. Um, I've got a teaspoonful of chopped mint. And I'm going to add a teaspoonful of um, ginger. And I'm also going to add a teaspoonful of lemongrass um, paste as well. Just to kind of mix up the flavours. And you can add chilli at this stage if you, uh, if you want to. Um, uh, chilli flakes or you can add some um, chilli powder to this. Um, I'm going to add some garlic as well. And add some black pepper. So I'm just going to mash all that together. Because the Mediterranean cheese is quite soft and it stays quite firm, you actually put this on the barbecue, they cook really nicely. Um, but again, you can put any flavourings to this cheese that you want to. Um, that's also really nice with some tomato puree. And you can just leave it plain. So there's that. And then all we're going to do is literally just stuff the cheese mixture inside these peppers. Use a teaspoon and just press that all down just so they're completely full. Dead simple, dead easy, and a really nice um, side dish to go along with um, any barbecue. So let's make sure they're all full to the bread. There we go. So then I'm going to take um, two of my skewers. Um, and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this skewer all the way through. So I'm going to do a red and a green one on each of these. A red and an orange, did I just say green? Um, so then we've got some of the um, stuffed peppers. You can brush these with oil before you put them on the grill, but then they're great on that. So that's another one done. Let me wipe my hands. A tea towel. So the next one, what I want to do is um, show you just a quick and easy salad that we can do uh, on the barbecue, and that uses um, aubergine. I'm going to show you this one because this is just like my aubergine bacon recipe that I've got. So I've just topped and tailed a fresh aubergine. Um, do it so it stays flat on your board. I want to cut it to about the thickness of a pound coin. So again. Just use a sharp knife and go down and do the strips. This is coated in a smoky um, glaze, so when it bakes, it actually tastes a bit like smoky bacon, so that's why I call it my aubergine bacon. And then just take that end a little bit off there so it stays flat. So let's get rid of that one. Um, so in my bowl, I've got some olive oil, I've got some smoked sweet paprika, I've got some garlic, and I'm going to add in some of this, which is called liquid smoke. Um, they use a lot of this in barbecue in America, you can get this from the supermarket, um, and it's like an essence of barbecue. So again, it adds that um, smoky note that we get um, when we're cooking. So we just do the pastry brush, I'm going to mix all that together. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint each side of the aubergine just with this smoking mixture. These cook really well under the grill, not on a too high heat, kind of on a medium heat. What you want to do is every so often is just keep basting with this mixture. So the smoke and the garlic and the paprika could get absorbed into the aubergine. And the aubergine starts to cook and kind of dry out. So let's flip these over and do the other side. Um, again, on a barbecue, I would just tend to them over the coals that aren't too hot, and then flip them kind of every minute and a half, every two minutes. It might take about five, eight minutes just to completely cook. Again, place them every time you turn them over. And um, they turn a nice orange colour with the smoked paprika and the sweet paprika on it. Um, and you can see that it's done like that. Uh, I'm going to do this as a salad today. So with that, I've just got a red onion that I've just cut again, um, quite thick. I'm going to drop them around. I'm going to also put on some of our um, smoked dressing on that, ready for the grill or the barbecue. And just saying, I've not put any salt on this again because I want it to dry out. If you put salt on it, um, extracts all the moisture out of the vegetables. So they end up with them being a little bit soggy and I think people tend to do that with aubergines. Years ago they were quite bitter and you had to salt them to get all of the um, drain the juice out of there, but you no longer need to kind of do that. So that's the aubergine and onion salad. Um, using this same mixture, I've then done a carrot hot dog. Um, so these are quite small, the ones I've kind of cooked are a little bit bigger. So just with a raw carrot, um, take a knife and you just want to cut some slices um, through the carrot, turning it round and just putting the knife through, but not putting it all the way through. Just the kind of concertinas, as you can see that on there. These then get um, coated again in a sweet paprika smoke mixture. And then we're going to bake them in the oven and then they turn out really nice and you can use them as an alternative to um, hot dogs. So there's our aubergine and onion salad. Quick wipe of my hands and I'm going to keep that to baste. Um, and then just to do some more skewers, um, you can barbecue quite a lot of vegetables and they're really nice. Um, I think asparagus and tomato is really nice. So I've just got some asparagus. I'm just gonna cut it into kind of inch pieces. And then I'm gonna use that and skewer that with some of our um, baby tomatoes. So I'll go on with some asparagus and then some tomato. Again, some asparagus. Another tomato, let's end with asparagus. So you've then got these. But again, you can use so many um, different types of vegetables. Um, parsnips are really good on the barbecue. Obviously, corn you can use. I just wanted to show you some um, different bits. So again, brush them with oil, like the peppers, and then just put them on top. Um, I'm going to put all them um, in the oven so you can see what they look like when they're cooked. This is our tin burger, it looks amazing. I've just put some uh, low protein cheese on the top and then finish cooking that in the oven. That's on a um, uh, bread bun that I've made from um, the bread video. So I've done some hot dog rolls and some burger buns. I've got the uh, parrot um, smoked dogs, which are Tastes amazing. And um, then we've got our uh, aubergine and onion uh, salad. I've just put some shavings of uh, low protein parmesan cheese over the top of that. Then you've got your skewers uh, with your filled cheese and your um, tomatoes on. Have a go. And all the recipes are on my low protein connect. If you've got any questions, um, leave me them on Facebook or Twitter or um, on there and I'll get back to you. But, um, Enjoy the summer, I hope you get good weather and uh, happy barbecuing.
See you next time.